today I'm visiting our friends over at Skunk2 Racing. And if you guys don't know anything about them, uh, they are deeply rooted in the Honda community. Uh, started in 1994 uh, with, I think, Billet Cam Gears. They are an engineering firm that does a lot of testing and development on parts for Hondas. I'm gonna show you around their facility and we're also gonna pick up some awesome parts for the uh, FREK build. So, super excited, I'm gonna head in now. Okay guys, well I've been welcomed into the Skunk 2 facility and what's awesome is they're gonna give me the nickel tour which I'm gonna bring to you guys through the magic of cinema. We are gonna go check out their race shop. If I need to introduce you guys to someone special and that is my contact here at Skunk 2, Doug. But he's gonna be our tour guide today, so Doug. Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you very much. Right. We're gonna go ahead and go out to their race shop and where they do a lot of the R&D and development, is that correct? Yes sir. Okay, and um, I think you guys are gonna like this, so let's go. Ooh. What's up? Come on. This is cool. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say, steal a coin phrase from MTV. This is where the magic happens, apparently. Motorcycles? Yeah, it's our Harley Davidson Supercharger kit. Supercharged Harleys? Hmm. All right, well, Doug's got some really cool projects in here. And we're gonna meet a guy called Charles, or Dr. Charles, if you guys are familiar with the Honda community. He's a rather um, well-regarded figurehead, and he happens to work here in the engineering department. I know it's kind of odd to see a Mustang inside of Skunk 2, but that's because they do a lot of other stuff as well. And they even have some really cool Mustang parts either coming out or on the horizon, is that right? Exactly, this is actually my personal car right here. Oh. It's Good. got uh, oh. a bit of upgrades. Vaughn Jr. Yes, absolutely. Who's that? Celine. Steve Celine and, and Molly Celine. Molly Celine. Celine. Yes, sir. Cool, so this car's been around. So what Doug doesn't know is Vaughn Gittin Jr. is actually one of my best friends. And he's a <laughs> super rad dude, so it's neat to see his signature on Doug's car. We also have a 10th gen Civic in here that they're doing some uh, some work on and it looks like some exhaust work so that's pretty cool so that must mean that they've got some uh, 10th gen products on the way or in yep. in works and an old Civic Si here what are you guys doing on this one Doug uh, that one we're actually doing uh, a couple things uh, we're doing a throttle body upgrade um, we just got a manifold upgrade and we're also doing uh, a header upgrade for that. oh cool let's check oh this one here so this is a Skunk 2 header. Ooh, look at those welds. So one thing I can't stress enough about Skunk 2, and this is something that I've learned over the years of being involved with Hondas, is that they're not just a product company. They don't just go to market with product that isn't tested. And this facility, I think by the end of this little segment, you'll see that they are actually creating and then testing the products before they go to market. A lot of companies don't do that. So I'm really impressed and I can't wait to see what is behind the next closed door because I have a feeling there's some cool stuff back there. So right here, this is actually, we actually purchased this. This is a 2019 uh, Yamaha YZ uh, 1000R. Um, it's the Sport Shift. Uh, we're actually gonna be carrying it apart. Uh, I know it's brand new, it's still got the uh, stickers on the little tag. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, we're going to tear into it and actually put a supercharger on it. So, side by side performance as well? Yes. So, this room is pretty magical. Uh, I've been here once before, and inside this room before, where this side by side is, was actually there was a beta yes. race car, which is a drag car and it's badass. If you guys have ever seen 
any drag car that's going to on the side is probably the beta car. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty badass drag setup. Um, but what's cool is they have a dyno in here. So these are um, hub dynos. Uh, who's the manufacturer of this one? I don't even know. Uh, that's just a Roto Hub. Roto Hub. Um, what's cool about the, this type of dyno is that it's, it's mobile. You know, you know, yeah, you have 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 so if you actually have a all-wheel drive car, you okay. can actually test all-wheel drive. They actually have four of these rotor packs, which means they can do all-wheel drive dynoing here in-house, as well as two-wheel drive front or rear-wheel drive, which is really cool. And what makes this facility even more unique is that they actually have two dyno cells in the front of this room. So if we're to go in here, I can't really show you some of the stuff going on in here because some of it is top secret, but as you can see, they've got a motorcycle on this engine dyno here. They've got another Spintron over here. And a fast pan, this place is very well outfitted to be doing a heap of testing. And that's one of the things I love about this brand is that they are testing their product. They're not just putting products on the market um, for you to buy that they don't stand behind. So that's super awesome. And I'm pretty sure in this cell over here, there's some top secret stuff going on. So we're not gonna be able to show you guys that. Um, so it's all blacked out in there, as you can see. They've got some really cool new products coming out that are gonna be out uh, in the next calendar year. And it's probably not what you're expecting. So stay tuned for more information on that stuff from uh, our friends here at Skunk2. So many of you guys may not know this, but Skunk2 is only one of the brands involved here. Um, this is a conglomerate group called Group A. And so they own Skunk2, Kraftworks, and Grams. Grams Performance. Grams Performance is the fuel portion of their line. Um, Kraftworks is a supercharger portion of their product line, which uses a Rotrek supercharger, if I'm not mistaken. And this is one of the projects they have going on right here, right now. And it is a Rubicon with the Kraftworks um, intercooler and supercharger kit installed. We like Jeeps around our shop, so we thought you guys might appreciate that. With the additional horsepower from the Kraftwerk kit, that makes this one a winner in my eyes. One really cool part about this Jeep is that they actually did a Hellcat interior conversion, which is pretty cool. So it's got the seats out of a Hellcat and probably a couple other bits too. I'm not too keen on those cars, so I'm not sure what exactly it is he did, but it looks a lot more comfortable than a regular Jeep, that's for sure. Whoa, uh, oh, yeah, right. password protected doors, bro? Oh, yeah. mentioned time and time again these guys have some really cool tools here to produce uh, test and manufacture their product we're in the engineering department which is sort of a top secret area that you're not probably gonna get to see anywhere else on the internet so I am um, pleased to be able to bring this to you guys and honored that they've trusted me with uh, being able to be in this area of their shop we got some really cool equipment here so this is a very accurate 3d uh, printing machine that they use to prototype parts They've got a shock dyno in-house, which not many companies have shock dynos available to them. And that's because they do offer a suspension product line, so they can do some testing here if they need to. Uh, this is a 2 and 3D um, scanning tool called a Romer arm, uh, which is really nice and a handy tool to have for reverse engineering. Full composite construction on the, the tubing, which is really cool. And also two very large scale uh, 3D printing machines over here uh, for some quick and dirty stuff that they do around here. So if you guys weren't convinced that these guys are innovating and making uh, cool new products and testing them, um, you're mistaken. It's pretty neat to see all this stuff firsthand. So we've moved on to a different portion of the building here. Um, as I mentioned earlier, they've got three brands in house here, one of them being Graham's Performance. And Graham's Performance is basically um, the fuel arm of, of their umbrella of brands. So that said, they have a flow bench here for their injectors. They do sell injectors. 
and uh, a bunch of other fuel componentry, but uh, it's neat to know they are testing everything here, and uh, you can probably have your product sent and even tested yes, as correct. well. Yeah, so you can the, send us your injectors if you need them clean, tested, whatnot. We cool. Stuff here so full service in-house um, testing and uh, cleaning. So awesome. I'll be using that service for sure. So this is like a little mini lathe, it looks like, right? Mini lathe? <laughs> Yeah, it's actually our injector cutting machine. It's where we cut all our fuel injectors. It actually makes the, the nozzle the way that it should be. So say you have a 550cc injector, we actually cut the tips and it actually turns into a 1000cc. Okay, so the, the level of hands-on uh, inside this building is pretty insane. I, I had no idea all the stuff was going on in here. So we're back here in the warehouse. This is where the unsung heroes of the parts industry hang out. These are the guys filling your orders and getting them out to you in a timely manner. What's cool about Skunk 2, Craftworks, and Grams is that all this stuff is housed here in their Southern California facility, uh, pretty much within a block of here. I think they've got a couple facilities that house all their product, and it gets shipped out. Um, you guys are making shipments daily, I assume. So, uh, what's cool is we've got all of our products for the uh, FREK already pulled here. The team here did an awesome job getting this together for us. I see a lot of promotional items as well, so we might have to do. Uh, we have to do some giveaways. <laughs> but this is a nice, a nice bit of parts that uh, I'll show each one of these to you guys once we get them back to the shop and explain to you why we're doing what we're doing with these things. my visit to Skunk 2 today. I'm super excited to get back to the shop and unload all these parts. Show you guys exactly what we got for the project because uh, these guys came in clutch with a lot of the main components that are gonna make this car over the top. So huge shout out to Doug and all the guys at Skunk 2. We're gonna make you guys proud. Yeah.